One Minute Inspirations, Henry Street Church of Christ. You don't have to be alone. And they continued steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine and fellowship, and in breaking of bread and in prayers. Acts chapter 2, verse 42, King James Version. Sometimes we feel all alone. However, that does not have to be the case. We must understand that after becoming a Christian, we radically change in the eyes of those who have not become children of God. As a result, that group of people, even some being family, abandon us. Our phone stops ringing. Invitations to events that we always have gotten in the past stop. People become more distant even when they have conversations with us. Unfortunately, that is the way that the devil influences some people to act around us, and we don't have control over that situation. However, we must understand that we must build our lives around God's people. That means we must be friendly and open up to other Christians to build that sense of community one with another and feel a part of that community. That takes initiative on our part as the wisdom of Proverbs shows us. People with friends are those who are friendly, Proverbs chapter 18, verse 24. This is the hallmark of the first century church of Christ. They remained in fellowship and did not allow anyone or anything to break these strong bonds of friendship. Besides, the best and most loyal friend we will ever have is Jesus, who will never leave us alone, Matthew chapter 28, verse 18 and 20. So we always have someone with us no matter what. Are you ready to be friendly so that friends surround you? If so, open up and truly immerse yourself in the Christian community. You will see a difference in your life accordingly. God bless you. Thanks for listening. If you have not made Jesus Christ the head of your life for salvation, don't delay another day. The Bible says that we must obey the gospel, Romans chapter 10, verse 16. This is done by being exposed to, believing, and adhering to the word of God as delivered to us in the New Testament of the Bible. For short, it is called obeying God's plan of salvation. Please see my accompanying video entitled, The Six Things That Save, in order to do so today. You can reach it by going to the YouTube link below or scanning the QR code below with your cell phone. God bless you. Thanks for listening. This is a ministry of the Henry Street Church of Christ, 309 Henry Street, Gadsden, Alabama, USA, 35901 www.henrystreetchurchofchrist.com. Please subscribe to our channel. God bless you.